Hey guys, welcome to Differentiation Week 7 Review. In this session, we're going to be looking at uh, some limit stuff. And what else we got? We have got gradients of normal and some parametric differentiation. All right, let's get started with the first question. Now, this particular type of question, I've seen it pretty much come every year. Uh, it's always good to know. Um, all right, so let's have a look. For the function y equals to f of x, the first question part i first question is asking for f is not continuous now remember that if you want your if I mean if you want to know when it's not continuous just take a pen and just draw over the graph itself and you'll notice that at this point there's a little hole there um, so you're kind of making a jump and then all the way down here and then you're making another jump to actually go there so the two values that you're looking at where it's not continuous is negative one and positive one now, the next thing is asking you for f is not differentiable. For not for, for f not differentiable, you're looking at sharp points or holes and little jumps. So the first point is obviously negative 2 because it's a sharp point. And the second point is going to be at negative, when x equals negative 1, it's not differentiable because it's got a little empty hole in there. And then at positive 1, because there's another hole in there, and of course another sharp point here when x equals to 4. So those are the four points. Now the next one is asking for f dash of x is equal to 0. So this is when you're looking for the gradient is equal to 0. So for the gradient equal to 0 um, you've actually got your first point which is at negative 4 and then you've got it at positive 3 the gradient at positive 3 and also when this straight line right here uh, it's also going to be when the gradient is equal to 0 so the points that we're looking for is negative 4 positive 3 and when x is greater than 4 all right next thing is f double dash is uh, less than 0 so for it to be less than 0 we're looking for concave down and you can see that concave down is basically between this point these two points right there okay and so we can actually write this as it's between 1 and 4 and our final question is what is the value of limit of x tends to negative 1 uh, as x tends to negative 1 you can see that the y value it's heading towards positive 1 and so the answer for this is going to be positive 1 now looking at the schedule folks it looks like two count two correct answers is going to get you an achieved three correct answers will get you a merit for this question okay let's go to the next question all right guys so we've got two parametric equations here we've got x is equal to 2 cos 2t and y is equal to tan t whole squared now notice how I wrote I wrote this as tan t whole squared because that is actually going to help me with my differentiation later on okay so the first things first I've got what am I looking for here I'm actually looking for the gradient of the tangent where t is equal to pi over 4 so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out dx dt so working out dx dt I'm going to get uh, 2 what do we got 2 multiplied by cos 2t differentiates to negative sine 2t and that's of course multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's inside the 2t there so it's going to be 2 and we can simplify this as negative 4 sine 2t and as for y dy dt is going to be I've got to use the chain rule folks so this will become 2 tan t multiplied by the differentiation of whatever tan t is now differentiation of tan t is 6 squared t Okay, so we've got our dy dt, we've got our dx dt, so we can then write dy dx as dy dt multiplied by dx, sorry, dt dx. So what we have is 2 tan t multiplied by sec squared t multiplied by 1 over negative 4 sine 
to T. Okay. Now, if you want to, I'm looking at it. I don't think it's worth um, simplifying this. We can just work with this because what we have is at T equals to pi over four, we want to find dy dt. So then dy dt is two multiplied by tan of pi over four multiplied by, now six squared you can't really do in the calculator. So we're going to put that as cos squared. So this will be cos squared pi over four multiplied by one over negative four sine of two times pi over four. Now, I know that tan pi over 4 is equal to 1. So that's going to be 2 times, well, I don't really need it. Tan pi over 4 is equal to 1, so that's just going to be 1. Uh, multiplied by cos pi over 4 is 1 over root 2. So that's going to become 1 over root 2 squared. Multiplied by 1 over negative 4 and sine of pi over 2, that's sine of 90 degrees, which is equal to 1. So I don't need to worry about that as well. So when I simplify this, I should get uh, 2 multiplied by 1 over 1 over root 2 squared will become 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over negative 4. So this ends up being 4 over negative 4, which means the gradient at t equals to pi, pi over 4, the gradient is going to equal negative 1. And that's basically it, guys, for this question. Uh, this is also a merit question. I think by the looks of it, if you end up with the gradient, you are looking at a merit. But even if you can just do one of these two things correct, it looks like you're getting an achieved for a U grade. All right, let's go to the next question. All right, so with this question, we've got find the gradient of the normal to the curve, y equals x minus 16 over x at the point where x equals to 4. So basically, guys, we've got to differentiate y. Uh, find out what the gradient is and then flip it to make it a normal. All right, so we're going to do that first. So we're going to write f of x is equal to x minus 16. Now, because it's 16 over x, I'm going to write that as 16x to the power of negative 1, which means when I differentiate it, I'm going to get 1 minus 16 multiplied by negative 1 multiplied by x to the power of minus 1 minus 1. So what I end up getting is 1 plus 16 x to the power of minus 2, and we can rewrite this as 1 plus 16 over x squared. So that's the gradient function. So at 4, I'm going to get 1 plus 16 over 4 squared. So that's going to be 1 plus 16 over 16, which is 1. So we've got 1, 1 and 1 is 2. So th the gradient is equal to 2, which means the normal will be negative 1 over m and in this case I'm going to get negative 1 over 2 and that's my normal. Alright guys that's it for this session thank you for watching um, if you have any questions on differentiation or anything just chuck it in the comments below and I'll try my best to get uh, to some of the answers and that's this topic here thank you for watching